Welcome back to Live at Gilmore Guitars. I'm David Gilmore. This is Brock Zeman. This is my shop where I build guitars. Now, talking about guitars, more recently, you've backed away from the guitar a little bit, and uh, you've bellied up to the executive bar. You've created your own record label called Mud Records. Tell me a little bit about Mud. Uh, Mud Record. Well, when I was uh, in high school, I was in the. I was pretty heavy into the punk scene. And the punk scene, what it does is is a, the do-it-yourself kind of ethic where, you know, I want to write a magazine, therefore I write a magazine and distribute it to whoever will buy it. And uh, so I had my own record label back then and uh, released four or five titles. And then it just, I, I was seeing all the people around my area that would never get a chance to do anything. And they're great songwriters, Robert Laracy, Brothers to the Hill. And uh, so I decided to start putting out records for those guys just to see what would happen with them and uh, it turned out pretty good you know it, it, I like the fact that uh, you know people are know who Robert Laracy is now in the Netherlands you know yeah. it, like it, the guy doesn't even have a computer himself so he doesn't even understand half of this stuff but yeah it's been really fun making the record label so on Mud Records you recorded your, your latest CD You Ain't Crazy mm -hmm. Haney Penny uh, and you mentioned some of the other artists that you're working with, Robert Laracy, Brothers Through the Hill. How's your life different now that you're on the other end of the guitar, so to speak? Uh, well, I, I do like being able to tell people what to do. I've always liked that. That's pretty nice. So maybe that's the only reason why I started this whole thing. Power. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, we're hanging out in a guitar shop. You've got, got a guitar in your lap here. Do you remember what your first real guitar was? $60 bass that came with an amp. Uh, it didn't have a name. It was scratched off anyways, and the amp fell apart like a week after I got it, but that was my first thing. I begged my dad to buy it for me. Yeah. And uh, the next one was a pan. You ever heard of a pan? No. It had like a little like, what are those, what are those guys with the, with the horse legs and the yeah. human body? Yeah. It had one of those right there. A Pegasus. A Pegasus or something. And uh, yeah, that was it, and that cost $75, and that took a lot of begging, too. And uh, my first acoustic was La Patrie, I think, okay. from uh, Quebec. Yeah, from the La Cido area. Yeah, it's all tied in with yeah. all those other uh, Norman and all Luther, those guys. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So do you remember the very first song that you wrote? First song I ever wrote? Uh, Bow Lake Lane, a song about my cottage. Yeah, and uh, it took me 10 awful songs like hideous i wouldn't even show them to you they're that bad uh to get that one that that one that i thought was good enough to show other people nice and then after that they, they just i don't know something clicked there and just started writing every day and the rest is history mm -hmm. we're going to be back and we're going to hear some music from brock zeman live at gilmore guitars <laughs> 